I'm here at the beautiful Harbor Vishul in Lawrence, New York. I'd like to give a few words of chizuk, of deeper understanding of the Agadah Shal Pesach. In Eretz Yisrael, we say, Akol B'Seder, Akol B'Seder. Everything is in the Seder. The whole year is encapsulated in the Seder. The level that we get to on Seder night catapults us to an incredible level where we can continue through the whole year with chizuk and serving Hashem properly. There's a question that the Chasim Sofer asks. It's the Chasim Sofer in Taras Moshe, Parshat Tzav. He says, we know by a mitzvah deraisa, we make a bracha. You put on tefillin, you make a bracha. You put on talis, you make a bracha. You separate chala, you make a bracha. Brachas, we need a bracha. Why? If Lel Seder, if I call the Seder, if Seder nights, be God to Lebindra, be Yom Hulaymor, the mitzvah of Sibri Yitzvah Shrim, is one of the most important mitzvahs of the whole year. So why don't we make a bracha on it? So asks the Chasim Sofer. And he says an incredible terror. It's absolutely incredible. He says as follows. Right? To make a bracha, you have to be Jewish. We find the halacha, we recently were studying it in the Kolo, that a person goes to make, uh, a person becomes a ger, to feel his ger, you make the bracha after the ger. Right? You can't say the bracha, asher kedishanu b'mitzvah v'tzivanu al tefillah's ger, or al tefillah, when you're not Jewish. Mitzivano, even though a person who wants to become a convert, he has to do that process. It's not yet Vitzivano. Vitzivano is only when you're Jewish. Says the Chasim Seifer, before, when the start of the Seder, we're not Jewish. We're not Jewish. Why are we Jewish? Says the Chasim Seifer, because in order to reach the proper level that you're meant to, on Leil Seder, which is Chayv Adam Liros Hizatzro, a person has to see himself as if he came out of a triumph. Right? And in the words of the Rambam, you have to show yourself that you came out of a triumph. Says the Chasim Sefer, just like there's an obligation to see yourself coming out of a triumph as a free person, there's an obligation to see yourself as a slave and an idol worshiper. Before the Seder starts, we're not Jewish. Why? Because if you're doing the proper Avoda that's necessarily for the Seder. Yeah. You have to start off being a goy. You have to bring yourself to a visual, a, a visual, emotional, mental, psychological, uh, um, existential feeling that you are an idol worshiper, that you're bowing down to idols. Now, you shouldn't do it. Well, I say you don't bow down to idols, obviously, but you have to feel that way. You have to be, your reality has to be that. Yeah. Right? You have to associate and reality, in your reality, you're an idol worshiper. And so far as that goes, as the Chasim Sofer, we can't make a bracha on the, on the, um, on the, 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 because we're not Jewish. But says the Chasim Sofer, at the end of the Seder, we do make a bracha. Asher ga'al nu es ga'al of a Seder. That's the bracha. It's a bracha ex post facto, we freya on the whole seaport. Because when we get out, when we're free, then we become Jewish, just like the ger. Just like the ger makes the bracha on the tefillah when he comes out, so too we make a bracha on the mitzvah of Leil Seder when we finish. When we finish the Seder. Hashem should give us tremendous siyat to the Shemaya to fulfill this mitzvah properly, right? To feel at the beginning of the Seder like we're idol worshippers, like we're of the Avodah Zarah, like we're slaves of Mitzrayim, to put ourselves back in that frame of mind. We were all there, right? We were there. We say that in the Goda. We were freed from Mitzrayim. Our neshamas, the neshama of every single Jew here in Kalah Yisrael today was there at the time of Yitzhak. We were all freed from there. We all accepted the Torah in Harsinai. We were all there. Right? We have to reconnect to that experience we had 3,000 years ago and feel like idol worshippers. And says the Chasm Sofer, if we get to the level where we feel like we're idol worshippers, that's the Masach of Ganus. We could then we can be Messiah Meshav. Then we could feel we could end the Seder as free people. Yeah? Because has the Chazan Sofer, it's only possible to feel free if you felt enslaved. Only by re experiencing the slavery. And for that reason, the Haggad is based on that principle that we have to recreate the slavery. We have to feel that we're Avadim. Avadim Ayinu the Parmen Strong. We say that. Avadim Ayinu Ayinu. We're not just singing. It's reality. We're experiencing that. We're experiencing the slavery. Because only by experiencing the slavery 
only by tasting that bitter slavery and idol worship and distance from Hashem, only from the distance will we come to closeness. Only from feeling that great gap between us and Hashem, that chasm that existed at the time, can we come to the feeling that we're truly serving Hashem properly. Hashem should help us and go for the greatest siyat of the greatest siyat of the possible to fulfill the night mitzvah properly. Right? For this, we come out of Mitzrayim, to be free people and to serve Hashem properly. Hashem should help us in this worthy endeavor. Amen. Kain Yi Ratzon.